Hey up, Kapura. Just like to go through the new update for Lost Location, version 1.2.0. First of all, if you've beaten Night 6 and there's Custom Night, it's always been there, but now it's improved, so you've got some more nights that you can go through. Bears and bullies, pests, etc. And you've also got some challenges, like long nights, makes the night basically twice as longer. Um, this one just makes up animatronics more aggressive, basically. So Sting Trap will always be there, but he's more balanced. Freddy will always be there. Foxy will be more aggressive. So, new, new harder. Max mode here. If you've beaten Night 6, ignore this. Then you've also got your extras menu, so that'll just go through some stuff. You've got your Nights here, uh, your phone calls, so you can go through those. Jump scares. <laughs> then animatronics will go through each animatronic and cut scenes. And then, the best part of this update, in my opinion, is the tutorial line, which is it's just a proper tutorial, so I'll, I'll go. Go through that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Welcome to the tutorial. To progress through the tutorial, press enter. <coughs> Splendid. This tutorial will teach you how to play the game. <coughs> if you press space or click the center, um, makes you like. <coughs> it's a crucial tool for if you want to see anything in front of you. Um, the whole way, by the way, is this camera, camera nine. <coughs> Talk about cameras. You can press S or. Obviously, over over that. You can you use your light on the cameras, then you can see where everything is. You've got three different sounds here. They can do different things. So a green sound will attract any uh, animatronic to that camera if they're close by. So you can do that by either pressing this or by pressing green. Green. Don't press green. You can. Yeah, pressing green. The yellow sound um, will stop any animatronics from leaving that camera. So if I was to put yellow there, then these two won't go for a while. And the red sound will stop any animatronics from entering that camera, so if I put a red here, these two won't be able to go here. Um, the night doesn't end when this reaches 6am. Um, it ends when you get Static Guy to your outfit. So if you go to camera 2, you know Static Guy is on the camera. If the camera is just static. See, see here? No static. Static. That's that again. So if you turn the light on, you can't see anything. <coughs> to end the night, you must uh, bring static guy all the way to camp 10. Yeah. And then it will have a chance to enter your office. <coughs> so, um, how do you get into camp 10? <coughs> yeah, do you hear that? <coughs> you hear static. And then the green flash is going to move. Uh, static guy is to move. <coughs> Usually you only have a short time to act. But for the sake of the tutorial, you have as much time as possible. <laughs> you, you want to get into camp. You can't just teleport. So I'll, I'll show you the best way to get into camp. First off, you want to place the sound on camera 6 to get into move. And by doing that, you can move there. So, yeah. Sometimes you can go where you don't want them to go. So, um, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> so, uh, if you place down a red sound, um, will be more likely to go to that camera than say placing down the camera. In a normal night you need to do it quickly. So the next step I'm to put into is camera okay. That's good. And then finally the camera. Okay. Once you've that camp 10 you've just gotta wait for him to enter the office basically. Um, let's go through the animatronics now. So first the spawny. Um, you, you know if it's about to attack you, if there's eyes in the hallway, if you flash your light and you see that, which is a bit scary. So, yeah, there he is, go on to camera 9, you can see him there. Uh, you can also see him, yeah, you can see him on the bottom left, if you're too busy on the camera. So, um, let's stop him. If you place down a red sound whilst Bonnie's there, then you're safe, basically. Um, after a while, he'll go back to where he came from. So, there he is, he's gone. So if you move on to Chica, Chica likes to move to the right side and go to the right all the way into your office. She'll go to Cam 10 before attacking, but be careful because if anyone were to get to Cam 10 at Chica, then they can't leave, so uh, don't let Chica get to Cam 10 basically. So, hear that noise? Let's go to Cam 8, use light, Chica's there. So, um, 
Yeah, she'll stay in Canton if you let her get there, so don't let her get there. And in order to not let her get there, put her outside in Canton. And then eventually she'll leave. Go on to Foxy. Foxy stays in his cove on Canton 4. So there he is. The hook there. Um, he hasn't left yet. But basically, it's kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's 1, the first one, where you want to check on him quite a while. But quite a lot. See so if we flip down the camera. I'm not checking on him. It might move. If you hear footsteps, then box is probably moving. So if we go there, he's like that side is go there. So he's on the left hand side. You can either leave on the left or the right. If you hear footsteps, but like the faster, then he's left this. So if you go to camera nine, you can see him there. So in the normal night, you'd have to like react really quickly. Uh, but it's a tutorial, so yeah. put down a red sound. We have to do that really quickly normally, but it's fine. It's hard to see him a bit more when he's on the right, but you can see that's that's where Fox is. He's gone. If he was on the right side, then you need to go to camera eight and basically do the same thing. So that, that's Foxy. So, yeah, you need to deal with him quickly. So if you go to Freddy, he stays in the office here, he's always there. Um, but he can't actually kill you if he's inactive. No, he's active. No, he's active if you've got this there, and if you hear that sort of mechanical sound. So, yeah, basically what I just said. So, it doesn't like noise, it doesn't like, basically, yellow or red sound, so if you flip down the camera whilst you have any of those on, then there's a good chance it might jump scare you. So, let's flip up the camera and see what sounds we have on. That's not good, is it? So, uh, before flipping down the camera, you want to remove all the red and yellow sounds. Red is active. You can see it's now deactive. If you flip down the camera without any of those yellow or red sounds on, then it might deactivate. So if we go on to Spring Trap, that's basically it, it, it's a bit like a phantom, really. Yeah. So you want to flip out the camera as quick as possible to avoid a jump scare. Um, if he does get you, then you won't die, but y your camera's visuals um, be a bit impaired for a little while. That's not good, is it? There's also a phone guy. He'll ring. Just gonna mute him. If you don't, then he'll disable your sounds up here, so like you won't be able to change any of these. Fredbear. Fredbear's a bit of a wild card. Um, he only gets active in like the very later nights. Um, he can go to any camera. And he can attack in either the same way as Bonnie. It's so, like yeah, or in the same way as Chica, so yeah. Let's get rid of these. If he ends up in the hallway in front of you, on, on cam on cam nine, then you need to stop him like you were Bonnie, so check out there. If he ends up in this hallway, then you need to stop him like you were Chica. So, okay. It's a bit hard to see on cameras, so you want to look out for yellow particles like these there, for, for if you want to see them better. And if you start hallucinating, then use your flashlight in the office. And, and that's basically everything. That's a full tutorial of Lost Location. So, um, yeah, the, the, there's a night guide on the left, but if you forget anything, or you can just replay the tutorial. And that's it, that's the tutorial. I'm pretty proud of that because it makes the game a lot easier to understand. So, um, yeah, that's it. See you later.